disease has become one of the most common disease in the world right now. And chronic kidney disease is when there is damage to our kidneys over time and it prohibits our kidneys from doing its functions properly. Hi, I'm Dr. Itachi, a medical doctor and a clinical nutritionist. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're discussing about chronic kidney disease. Now our kidneys have a lot of important functions that help balance our body. So this includes getting rid of all the natural toxic products and the excess water in our body. It helps in making red blood cells. It helps in maintaining our blood pressure levels. Also, it maintains the balance of our minerals and it also helps in our bone health as well. So in chronic kidney disease, we have a damage to our kidneys over a period of time, specifically more like three months. So if your GFR is high, that means your kidneys are not functioning properly. Talking about signs and symptoms, well, CKD is divided into stages one to stages five, stage five being the worst. So developing any symptoms of CKD usually does not happen. People do not get these symptoms until they're on the advanced stages. But if people do have some symptoms, then they would include urinating frequency has changed. They are going more or less than usual. They could have foamy urine. They can have a loss of appetite. They can have fatigue, vomiting, nausea. People who have advanced stages of CKD would also notice symptoms such as trouble concentrating, nausea, vomiting, cramps, muscle cramps, swelling in their body parts, especially their feet, arms, and legs. There is weight loss when you don't have any intention of losing any weight. There is also trouble breathing and your breath would smell like ammonia. Moving on to the causes of chronic kidney disease. Now, anyone can develop CKD at any age. However, some people have a higher risk of developing CKD. These risk factors include high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, age of over 60, family history of kidney disease or having CKD, and you can also have an acute kidney injury. Other causes of CKD can be caused by circumstances and conditions that a person might be going through. These would include obesity, glomerular diseases, lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. They can have frequent urinary tract infections, which are left untreated. They can have kidney stones, kidney cancers, or sepsis as well. Now, a person does not have CKD just because of one reason. There are many more reasons involved and we should get ourselves checked regularly for our kidney function test. Moving on to diagnosis. Now, how do you diagnose CKD is very simple. You just have to take two tests. In blood tests, you have to check your EGFR and in your urine test, you have to check your UACR. These both tests are needed to get a better image of your kidney health. Now, now, if your EGFR is under 60 and or your UACR is greater than 30 over a period of three months, then this means you have kidney disease. This is a sign. Last but not least, we have the treatment. Now, managing CKD is done by focusing on four major goals. First is to manage the condition that is causing your CKD, which could include diabetes, nephropathy, or even your high blood pressure levels. Second is to lower the CKD progression. Third is to get rid of any risk of getting any cardiovascular disease, such as a heart attack. Fourth is treating the complications that you've got related to CKD. Now, the treatment is usually recommended on which stage of CKD you have and also on what are the complications that you have developed and what are the 
reasons of your development of CKD. So you can take medication according to the stages of your CKD and your conditions related to that. And you can also make changes in your nutrition and your lifestyle. To find out more about nutrition or your kidney diet, I have a video on my channel. Don't forget to check that out. Also check out my video on foods to avoid and foods to eat in CKD. I'll pin the video and the link will be in my description. Thank you for joining in today. This was all about CKD. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a like. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on health content and nutrition. Till next time, see you. Bye.